party in South Africa. Uh, Mr. Slabat, what have you come to do, in fact, in Zambia with the African National Congress? Well, uh, I think one must see the visit and the discussions against the background of the situation in South Africa at the moment. Uh, it's not any uh, news that South Africa is going through a crisis, and that crisis has the potential of escalating into violence of an enormous scale in which many lives can be lost. And we, we feel that as a political party in South Africa, in the South African Parliament, that uh, we must do everything in our power to talk to any organization or interest group that can play a role in reducing the level of violence and conflict. And there's no doubt that the ANC is a very important factor in this whole situation. In fact, I cannot see how we're going to have any kind of resolution uh, in the future of South Africa if the ANC doesn't in some way participate in that resolution. So that's basically the reason we came uh, we came also to uh, to find out what their positions were on a whole range of issues, to clear up misunderstandings, and actually to find out where we really differ from one another. What influence has uh, your party got on the government of South Africa? Well, formally speaking, we are the official uh, opposition in the House of Assembly in Parliament. Uh, so we, uh, we can spell out alternatives to the government, we can oppose the government, we can try and change the attitudes of predominantly the white electorate. We can also try and uh, set up an interaction between ourselves and other extra-parliamentary organizations and movements, something which I think is very important. Uh, and I think we, we can be seen almost as, uh, as symptomatic of the degree to which Parliament is prepared to change. So the more support for our ideas and our philosophy, the greater the likelihood that one could uh, expect some kind of effective reform. Your progressive uh, uh, federal party, Mr. Slabat, works hand in hand with Inkata, that of uh, Chief uh, uh, Gasha Butelezi. And uh, uh, Gasha Butelezi has been a close ally of the South African regime. Uh, how do you expect to be received by the ANC when you collaborate with the regime? Yes, I think you're using rather emotive terms like a close ally, hand in hand, and collaborate. Uh, uh, let me say immediately that Butelezi and Inkata are an important factor in the South African political spectrum. I don't think they can be ignored. Uh, my attitude is just as the ANC cannot be ignored, so Butelezi cannot be ignored. Uh, if there is going to be any kind of bargaining, negotiation, then I'm afraid one must uh, be prepared to negotiate and bargain with a wide spectrum of people, many of whom uh, you may not agree with or even like. So in that sense, uh, I'm not going into an alliance with Butelezi against anybody else. I'm making a specific point that the alliance that I have in mind must be broad enough to include anybody who wants to uh, work towards a non-racial democracy in that country. I also must make it clear that although I, I'm aware of the very sharp differences between the ANC and the INCATA, of, which is led by uh, Chief Minister Butelezi, I do not see the Chief Minister as a, a puppet of the South African regime, as somebody that supports apartheid and uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, is, is willing to uncritically be used by the South African government. I think in his way, he is uh, opposed to apartheid and he is sincere in his conviction about it. There may be other difficulties and problems, but I have not any personal experience of him uh, being a, a cat's paw, as it were, to the South African regime. But to sum up, I must say that I think uh, if we're going to find a resolution of the conflict in South Africa uh, when uh, the bargaining and the negotiation starts, it's going to be necessary to involve people and organizations who do not necessarily agree with one another. Your exercise, Mr. Slabat, uh, looks to be a rather futile one in that uh, you still insist uh, that uh, uh, Gasha Butelezi uh, should be included in any meaningful talks. And we know Gasha Butelezi as somebody who has been a very close ally and he's opposed even to the United Democratic Front and he has been uh, even uh, interested in the Bantu stands. And all along, this has been his position as far as the, the, the political situation is concerned in South Africa. Whereas the, the African National Congress has been against all those schemes of Gasha Butelez, because we look at Gasha Butelez just as an extension of the South African regime.
Ayud. Let me, I, I mean, the, the one thing I cannot do is to resolve the conflict between Inkata and the ANC. I mean, that's, that would be presumptuous of me to try and do something like that. Uh, I can perhaps uh, explain my position again by saying that I am prepared to go and talk to President Boeta and to persuade him about the need to move away from apartheid. And I have done so, personally. I am prepared to go and talk to a cabinet committee and say to them why I believe apartheid is the core problem in that whole situation and explain to them what alternatives there are. And in that same way, if I go and talk to them, I, I absolutely refuse to accept the fact that because I'm prepared to talk to Boeta that I support apartheid. I mean, I'm actually going to him to, to explain my, my opposition. Now, in the same spirit, I would enter into negotiations and talks with the ANC, with the UDF, with Inkata. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go back to South Africa now, and I can tell you, just as you are attacking me for talking to the UDF, the South African government is going to attack me for talking, uh, to, for talking to Inkata. The South African government is going to attack me for talking to the ANC. And I will explain exactly the same way to the South African government, that I am here talking with the ANC because they are a very important factor in the domestic situation in South Africa, and we will not be able to avoid bloodshed and confrontation unless we are prepared to sit down and negotiate. And that's, that's basically my, my approach and spirit, uh, uh, my spirit uh, or my attitude to the whole thing. I am, uh, I'm not looking for allies. And I'm not looking for, uh, you know, I have no delusions of grandeur about being the great white leader of South Africa. I just am a very concerned South, Africa trying, South African trying to find out, is our conflict resolvable? And can we keep the body count down? The South African regime has all along refused to enter into serious talks with the, the African National Congress of South Africa. Because all, all along the regime has... Uh, uh, dubbed the ANC as communist-oriented, as a terrorist movement, and they have put conditions that before they can talk to the ANC, the ANC has, first of all, to renounce violence. Do you hold the same view? Well, I made it quite clear to the South African government that I, for example, believe in the unconditional release of someone like uh, Nelson Mandela. I say someone because there are other political prisoners as well. I've also made it quite clear that uh, and I've understood it again in the, uh, the discussions we've had over the last few days, that the ANC's commitment to the armed struggle and to violence was a last resort because of the absence of any constitutional and democratic means of opposition. And therefore there is, and although I disagree on the use of violence to achieve political goals, I disagree fundamentally on that because I believe it's a very unstable instrument and it, it, it can lead to a great deal of hardship and, and, and uh, and, and crisis. I also believe it is the responsibility of those who would talk about so-called non-violent change to remove the conditions in South Africa that has led to the escalation of violence. And therefore it's the responsibility of not only myself but of the government of the country to create circumstances inside South Africa where it would not be possible or likely for people to resort to violence to achieve their political goals. And what I've just said to you now I have said in exactly the same language to P.W. Boota. Uh, our president, uh, President uh, Kenneth Kaunda, has all along uh, been warning the South African regime of this dangerous situation. In fact, he has talked of an explosion in South Africa if there is no immediate change. Do you look at it from the same point of view, that an explosion in South Africa is imminent? I have made that point many times. I've said that uh, South Africa has the potential for incredible violence and uh, that there can be a great deal of bloodshed. And uh, yes, I would say that the times have become far more urgent in that respect, that we are, as it were, on the edge of a precipice. But precisely because we're there, the same urgency exists to s explore all possibilities, even at this late stage, to avoid that explosion. And uh, this is the only kind of political role I can see myself playing and what, uh, that, I'll, that I'm prepared to do. Mr. Slavat, we'd like to thank you very much indeed for granting us this interview. Thank you very much.
one in mind. Uh, that, you know, uh, the basic question here uh, is that, you know, every effort must be made to isolate the most rabid racist element inside the country. And uh, in a way, you see, uh, a way must be found to walk whatever distance there is to be walked with those that say that it's necessary to destroy a party. Now, um, that, 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 that is the thing, you see. Now, um, of course, uh, while walking that direction, uh, there will be questions where certainly there is a, a total disagreement. But it is important to agree in the first place on the perspective. And as I say, you see, we agreed on a perspective, future perspective of a non-racial democracy, democratic state inside that country. Uh, uh, that is, is in itself important. Of course, how you reach that goal uh, is something now where difference of approaches are, are going to be there. Uh, now, uh, <coughs> certainly, of course, I mean, uh, it would be naive of the ANC to, to think that uh, uh, from the discussions that we've had uh, with uh, the PFP, suddenly tomorrow they are going to emerge as uh, being one of the most militant allies of the African National Congress. No, that would be absolutely naive. But uh, you see, uh, it is important, you know, even to get to know uh, what people think, uh, to get to know how they think a goal can be reached. <laughs> And you can only do that by talking to them. Mm. Uh, how do they reach that goal? Because you are saying that, as I say, you are agreed that uh, it's necessary to do with the party. But how do you reach that goal? And uh, you can't know that until... Mm. Uh, the Afghan Congress and uh, all democratic forces in our country, uh, including the international community, has condemned the Pakistan system inside South Africa. And in fact, uh, uh, none of those Bandustan creations have been recognized by the, um, uh, by the international community. But you see, the ANC has had uh, occasions where it has met with and discussed with Bandustan leaders uh, to get to know precisely what do they think of this creation in which they are serving, and uh, do they think that the people, <laughs> it's necessary for them to, to, to continue to do this when the people, in fact, uh, uh, living under so-called uh, independent states, uh, their condition is become wo becoming worse all the time. Uh, and therefore, to reach out the question is, what is to be done, therefore? Because, I mean, you must be in a position to, 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 to rescue the people uh, from the misery in which they are. How do Bandustan leaders look at this question? Mm. You see, I mean, and you've got to, as I, I repeat, you've got to meet and discuss with them those problems. Uh, there is a point of, of disagreement that naturally that is reached. I mean, the... Uh, but they know our point of view, and uh, you know, uh, we have sought to convince them of the wrong ways that they are following. And uh, well, I mean, if they if, if they are not able to to take the line of the people, then it's up to them. Mm. But you have got to meet them and talk to them to discuss these questions with them. Mm. Usually, Comrade Secretary General, these meetings is it uh, your initiative or is it at your request that you should uh, meet some of the parties in South inside South Africa? No, 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 no. Um, we have met, for instance, with uh, the business people. Uh, that is before now, and now we have met with the PFP.